For those of you who have been following me for a very long time, you're probably wondering what happened to me. I've been gone for three months. I haven't posted a video. I haven't filmed any content, but I am back today with a review for the One Size Beauty Turn Up The Base Foundation in a Powder Formula. If you're wondering where I've been, I had a baby. I gave birth to my daughter a couple of weeks ago. Her name is Charlotte. She's absolutely perfect. And I obviously, you can hear her, she's right next to me. But I obviously have been just taking care of myself and towards the end of the pregnancy, I just wanted to sort of relax, stay off social media and just enjoy the last few weeks of being pregnant with my baby girl. And she's here now. So I really wanna get back in the swing of things. So we're gonna start off today with this foundation review. So as I mentioned, this product here is from One Size Beauty. This is influencer Patrick Starr's beauty brand. This foundation has been out now for a couple of weeks and I've had the chance to wear it a few times. So I do wanna give you guys my honest feedback, but I have to let you know right away that this product was sent to me by Octoly and One Size Beauty, so I didn't pay for it with my own money. However, my opinions that I'm about to share with you guys are entirely my own. This is not a paid ad or anything like that, but I did not have to pay for this product. So take with that what you will, and I'm just going to give you guys my honest thoughts. That's always how it's gonna be on this channel. Not gonna hold anything back, but I have to admit, I do really like this foundation, spoiler alert. So let's just talk quickly about the details. This is a powder foundation formula. It comes in this beautiful red compact, which I absolutely love. It has a nice little mirror in here. I was sent mine in the shade Light 5, which is um, light skin with a uh, rosy neutral undertone. So I have rosy undertones. I'm very um, cool undertoned. And I have fair skin, but in the summertime, I like to wear a self tanner, as you can see. So I did pick a little bit of a darker shade just to match like my summer tan. It does come in 33 shades and it retails for $33. You get 0.28 ounces worth of product. And if I were to compare it to something, I know many of you have probably seen this go viral on TikTok. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation and this comes with 0.31 ounces. It's a lot less expensive. However, just for comparison of pan size, you're getting a little bit less in this one size beauty and you're definitely gonna get more in this right here, but it's really not too much. L'Oreal obviously is a drugstore brand and Patrick Star obviously does not consider this to be drugstore. I love the component. I love the red chrome, but however, it does get really dirty. You can see my fingerprints all over it. This is a buttery smooth powder formula. You can start out with medium coverage. You can build it up to full coverage, whatever your preference is. It does provide 12 hours of wear time. And he also made it a point to utilize the five Bs when you're referencing this product. It's buildable, buttery, blendable, bulletproof, and blurring. It definitely does blur your pores. I will give it that and it is a soft focus finish. <clears throat> it also provides oil control, so you can use this as a foundation, or you can use it during the day for touch-ups, you can set your makeup with it. Patrick also mentioned that he likes to use a lighter shade under the eyes to brighten them up, but for me, I've just been using this as strictly a foundation. I've already primed my face, and I've applied a little bit of, let me show you this Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint underneath my eyes. And I'm just gonna show you exactly how I use this. So you can use a large fluffy powder brush or you can use, he obviously promoted his one size powder puff. Um, they don't say anything about using a sponge. So I would definitely stick to either a powder brush or a puff of some kind. I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what this looks like on this side of my face. I just picked it up here with the IT Cosmetics Airbrush Powder Wand. This is the number 108 brush. I've had this brush in my collection for years. But you can see right here, it was a little oily right here in my T-zone. And automatically this goes on and does a really good job of absorbing that oil. So you can really just pack it on as heavy or as light as you want. And the nice part about it being a powder foundation is it's very lightweight. You can really layer it up and not even tell that you have anything on your skin. I would definitely recommend, you know, concealing your face prior to using this. 
But like I mentioned, I really just put an under eye brightener on. I'm having a, a pretty good skin day. And then you can build up your other products over top. If you want to apply setting powder, setting spray, blush, highlight, it can all be applied over top. Let's see, So this obviously gives me a soft focus, blurred pore finish. And then this side over here, you can definitely see my texture, the oil and things like that. It gives me a great amount of coverage. And honestly, I really, really enjoyed this foundation a lot more than I thought. And I will, let me just compare it again to this Infallible. This I do like, but it's a lot heavier of a coverage. You can tell it gets cakey. And this, for people who like a medium coverage, even a lightweight, you could probably really just dust this on and have it be like a super lightweight, like natural foundation moment. Like you can see on me, it really does look natural and nice. Now, although I'm not going to have a wear test in this video, it's it's really just been difficult trying to film with my daughter being so little and having to take care of her. Um, but I will just tell you guys honestly that this does last all day. It is mask proof. And the nice part about it is you can literally just pack it in your purse and go and touch up during the day. So if you see it breaking apart at all or um, fading in any spots, it's super easy just to touch up. But for me, I really didn't have that issue at all. And I just, I'm really into powder foundations lately because in the summer months when it's warm, they're not going to crack or like split up all over your face like a cream or liquid foundation would. I just have a lot of luck and they do a nice job of absorbing oil. This one specifically works super well for my skin. I'm not gonna do any eye makeup, but I do wanna show you guys what this looks like with everything else over top. So I'm gonna go in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl. I'm just gonna hit the high points of my cheeks. What's the matter, Shar Shar? Come on, give me like two more minutes. Two more minutes, please. I'm gonna put a little bit of Patrick Ta blush over top. Just gonna set it. You guys can see this gives me a beautiful, natural looking glow. I absolutely just love this foundation. I think it's totally worth it if you were thinking about picking it up. I think Patrick did a really good job considering that his beauty line is fairly new relatively speaking and i think he put out a really good product here with this powder foundation for sure thank you guys so much for tuning into this review and i will be filming a lot more videos coming soon i apologize that the length of this video was not very long but it was a pretty basic review i enjoyed the foundation a lot and i really don't have anything negative to say about it so i just hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys on the next video bye guys